Hey, you are still with me. Congratulations. Okay, so we finished the first part. Now let's continue with the second part of module 4, programs and application. So let's start, guys. Assalamualaikum. Now we are back to the part 2 of our module 4, programs and application. So now let's proceed with the objective of this uh, video. So basically we have two objectives. First of all, I will continue with the explanation on key features of productivity applications. Okay. And then, uh, uh, then I will uh, proceed with the identification of the key features of graphics and media applications. Now, without further ado, let's proceed to the first slide. First, we have software suite. A software suite is a collection of individual related applications available together as a unit. Typically, it includes word processing, presentation, spreadsheet, and email application. While several productivity suites are designed to be installed on a local computer, some are available as web app and enable you to share projects stored on the cloud to collaborate with other users. So what are the major advantages of a software suite? So basically, it has three major advantages. First, this software suite provides ease of use because the application in this suite normally uses a consistent interface and a shared feature such as click and spelling checker. Next, applications in software suites often are integrated. Last one, when you purchase a software suite, the suite usually costs significantly less than purchasing each application individually. Then we have project management software. It is an application that allows a user to plan, schedule, track, and analyze the events, resources, and costs of a project. It helps users manage projects with drivers, such as the tasks required to complete a project and the allotted time and resources for each, allowing them to complete a project on time and within budget. So this is an example of project management software. Then we have accounting software. This software is an application that helps businesses of all sizes record and report their financial transactions. With this software, business users perform accounting activities related to the general ledger, accounting receivables, accounts payables, purchasing as well as invoice and payroll functions. So as you can see in figure 4.12, this accounting software also enables business users to write and print checks, track checking account activity, and update and reconcile balances on demand. Most of accounting software supports online credit checks, bill payment, direct deposit, and payroll services. Some of them might offer more complex features such as job posting and estimating, time tracking, multiple company reporting, public transparency, and so on. Next will be personal finance or software. It is a simplified accounting application that helps home users and small home use office users balance their checkbooks, pay bills, track personal income and expenses, verify account balances, transfer funds, try investments, and value financial plans. This personal finance software helps determine where and for what purposes you are spending money so that you can manage your finances. Now let's proceed with legal software. Legal software assists in the preparation of legal documents and provides legal information to individuals, families, and small businesses. As you can see in Figure 4.14, this legal software provides standard contracts and documents associated with buying, selling, and renting property, estate planning, marriage and divorce, and so on. Many lawyers offer assistance online when using legal software web apps. Besides legal software, we also have tax preparation software where this application is an application that can guide individuals, families or small businesses through the process of filing federal and state taxes. After you answer a series of questions and complete basic forms, the software migrates and analyzes your tax forms to search for missed potential errors and deduction opportunities. Some tax preparation programs also allow you to file your tax forms electronically, a process which is called e-filing. Then let's move to document conversion and readers. 
Document Conversion software saves document printed in any application into a common format that has the same attributes as the original document. A popular image file format used to save converted documents in is PDF, which stands for, for Portable Document Format, which is developed by Adobe System. To insert with the PDF format or PDF file, you need a PDF or video application, such as Adobe Reader, which can be downloaded free from Adobe's website. With this document reader, you can view, tweet, search, convert, annotate, edit, share, as well as print documents. Then we use the enterprise computing. A large organization requires special computing solution because of its size and geographic distribution. A typical enterprise consists of a wide variety of departments, centers, and divisions, which collectively known as functional units. So software used in functional unit is not mutually exclusive. However, each functional unit in an enterprise uses specific software, as you can see in front here, which is human resource, which are human resources software, accounting and finance software, engineering, manufacturing, marketing software, sales distribution software, customer service software, and information technology software. Now, let's proceed with the another type of application which are graphics and media applications. Power users such as engineers, architects, and desktop publishers often use sophisticated software that allows them to work with graphics and media. Many of these applications incorporate user-friendly interfaces or scaled-down versions, making it possible for the home and small business users also to create projects using this type of programs. So we have plenty, we have plenty of graphics and media applications such as computer edit design, desktop publishing software, paint or image editing software, photo editing and photo management software, as well as video and audio editing software. Then we also have multimedia authoring software and website authoring software. Now, let's discuss on the first one which is computer edit design. Computer edit design or CAD software is a type of application that assists professionals and designers in creating engineering, architectural, and scientific designs and models. Whereby, desktop publishing software is an application that enables designers to create sophisticated publications that contain text, graphics, and many colors. Professional DTP software is ideal for the production of high-quality color projects such as textbook, corporate newsletter, marketing literature, and product catalogs as well as annual reports. Then, paint or image editing software is, a, is used by graphic artists, multimedia professionals, technical illustrators, and desktop publishers, where normally they use this software to create and modify graphics such as those used in DTP projects and web pages. Paint software, also called illustration software, is an application that allows users to draw pictures, shape, and other graphics with various on-screen tools such as a pen, brush, eyedropper, and paint bucket. Image editing software whereby is an application that provides the capabilities of paint software and also includes the capability of to enhance and modify existing photos and images. Photo editing and photo management software is another type of software where this software allows users to edit and modify the appearance of digital photo. With photo management software, you can view, organize, sort, catalog, print, and share digital photos. If you can refer to page 4-25, you can go to how to 4.1 in terms of edit and share photos. There are plenty of actions that you can use such as crop, remove the red eye, resize, compress, adjust sharpness, brightness, and contrast. Whereby, for video editing software, it is an application that allows users to modify a segment of a video called a clip. Video editing software typically includes audio editing capabilities. Audio editing software is an application that enables users to modify audio clips, produce a studio quality soundtracks, and add audio to video clips. Then we have multimedia and website authoring. Multimedia authoring software allows users to combine text, graphics, audio, video, and animation in an interactive application. Training centers, educational institutions, and online magazine publishers use multimedia authoring software to develop interactive applications. 
Website offering for fair whereby help users create business websites for a variety of purposes such as online stores, restaurants, small businesses or personal interests generally without requiring advanced HTML skills. Then we have Media Player. A Media Player is a program that allows you to view images and animations, listen to audio, and watch video files on your computer or mobile device. An augmented and virtual reality overlays information and digital content on top of physical objects or locations. You can refer to Figure 4.3, which this video shows the use of augmented reality and medical education. Then last one, we have a virtual reality app which provides an immersive user experience. So that's all for the second part of this video. So I will continue with the next video in the part 3. Thank you.